Many are surprised to see that prostitution and sex work is discussed in the Bible. In the Bible, harlotry carries a dual significance. On one hand, it refers to physical prostitution, and on the other, it symbolizes spiritual unfaithfulness. The Hebrew word for harlotry, zona, encompasses both meanings. Prostitutes are referred to as harlots, a woman who sells her body for sexual use. There are three female prostitutes in the Bible, and each served God in a specific way. Rahab was a Canaanite woman living in the city of Jericho during the time of Joshua, the successor of Moses, who led the Israelites into the Promised Land. Known primarily as a harlot, Rahab's story is a fascinating portrayal of faith, courage, and redemption. When Joshua sent two spies to investigate the city of Jericho, Rahab took them in and hid them on the roof of her house beneath stalks of flax. Once the news reached the king of Jericho that Israelite spies were in his city, Rahab, despite the danger to herself and her household, protected the two men and lied to the authorities in order to ensure their safety. In return for her faith and assistance, the spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when the Israelites conquered Jericho. As a token of their agreement, Rahab was asked to tie a scarlet cord to her window, which she did faithfully. When the fateful day arrived, Jericho's walls came down, but Rahab's household remained safe and her entire family was incorporated into the Israelite community. Rahab's display of faith places her among the heroes of the faith mentioned in Hebrews 11, and she is the only female figure in the chapter aside from Sarah. Her story is remarkable not only because of her profession as a harlot, but also because she belonged to a nation that was in conflict with the Israelites. Despite her background, Rahab chose to believe in the God of Israel and acted upon that belief. Rahab's example of faith serves as a reminder that no one is beyond redemption. Rahab was a harlot, an outcast by society's standards, and yet her faith in God changed her life's trajectory. Faith often involves taking risks. Rahab risked her life and her household to hide the spies and protect them from her people. God never overlooks a courageous act of faith. Rahab's faith was rewarded not only with her family's safety, but also with a place in the lineage of Jesus Christ. The redemption of Gomer loved beyond transgression, Prophet Hosea and his wife, Gomer. In the Old Testament, we find the story of Gomer, a prostitute, and Hosea, a prophet chosen by the Lord. We learn about their marriage, which was divinely orchestrated to symbolize God's covenant relationship with Israel. Gomer's unfaithfulness reflected the people's sinful behavior, but Hosea's dedication represented the Lord's unwavering love and forgiveness. Gomer bore Hosea three children, but she continued to lead an immoral life, having affairs with other men. The Lord commanded Hosea to keep loving and forgiving Gomer, despite her unfaithfulness, as a symbol of his steadfast love for his people. This deeply rooted love exemplifies the power of divine love that goes beyond human transgression. Symbolic Acts and Divine Forgiveness the deep pit and narrow well symbolize the extent of Israel's sins and unfaithfulness. God, in his infinite wisdom, used the story of Gomer and Hosea to demonstrate the consequences of sin alongside the power of forgiveness. The Lord eventually punished the people of Canaan for their idolatry and immorality, but not without first showing his grace and love through Hosea's commitment to his wife. Gomer symbolizes the fallen state of humanity while Hosea exemplifies the unfailing love of God. Their story reminds us of the importance of faithfulness in relationships and the power of forgiveness to bring redemption even in the darkest situations. God's love is transformative and he continually calls his children back to him no matter how far they have fallen. The anointing of Jesus by a sinful woman. In Luke chapter seven, verses 37 to 50, we find the story of a sinful woman, often identified as a prostitute, who approaches Jesus at a Pharisee's house where he was invited to dinner. Boldly, she brings an expensive perfume and pours it over Jesus' feet. Her tears of remorse wet his feet, and she wipes them clean with her hair, kisses them, and anoints them with the fragrant perfume. This extravagant act of devotion and humility surprises the gathered Pharisees who are quick to judge her by her profession. 
Jesus addresses their judgmental attitude and tells a parable about debt forgiveness. In this parable, he compares the sins of the woman to a large debt owed to the moneylender. As the moneylender forgives the debt, the woman's love for Jesus reveals her gratitude, showing that the size of her debt did not prevent her from being forgiven. By contrast, the Pharisees' refusal to acknowledge their own need for forgiveness illustrates their coldness and pride. With wisdom and compassion, Jesus acknowledges the woman's act of worship and forgives her sins, saying, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. This account emphasizes that we all need God's forgiveness and that true repentance leads to a transformed life. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please share it with three people you love. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Pause 2 S. In reflecting upon the stories of Rahab, Goma, and the sinful woman who anointed Jesus, we see a recurring theme of redemption and divine love that transcends human judgment and transgression. These narratives remind us that no matter our past, we are never beyond the reach of forgiveness and transformation through faith. Pause 2 S. Stay tuned for more inspiring stories and lessons from the Bible, where every character and every act holds a deeper meaning. Until next time, may you find peace and grace in your journey. Pause 3 S. Thank you once again for being part of our community.